Greetings, die-hard Bomber fans. <laughs> like, like me. Uh, first of all, I would like to really congratulate all of this year's inductees. I have great respect for all you've given sport over those many, many years. Uh, earlier tonight, of course, it was the greatest day, it was the nicest uh, November day that I've ever seen in this town. So I had to challenge uh, Ken Peters to a 100-yard dash <laughs> in, the, in the parking lot. And even though I was a short athlete, uh, I made up for it with a lack of speed. <laughs> and yes, uh, Ken at 85 beat me, beat me badly. And as an Edmonton Oilers fan uh, growing up, I was very much, uh, I very much enjoyed meeting Bill Radford. Uh, so our conversation earlier tonight was going quite well until it took a most unappealing turn. This is when we started talking about the difference between NHL uh, player salaries and Canadian Football League player salaries. <laughs> and I learned that uh, for, for a Canadian, um, for a Canadian, playing in the Canadian Football League is punishment for never learning how to skate. <laughs> Many thanks to Susan Nemec, uh, Rick Brownlee, Debbie Schween, and the Board of Directors at the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame for this incredible honour. Also thanks to Jeff Natchik, Laurel Reed, uh, Jeff uh, uh, Polymer, and everyone of sport, at Sport Manitoba for all you do for the love of sports. I can actually sum up uh, the gratitude for this Hall of Fame induction with four words, family, teammates, friends, and fans. Growing up in Calgary, High River, and Edmonton, I was blessed with loving parents, James and Dorothy Kennard, two great brothers, Jim Jr. and my twin brother, Forrest, and wonderful grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, my niece, and, and nephews. They were always so very, very uh, supportive. I'm also blessed with a beautiful and wonderful wife of 37 years. Her name is Caroline, but she is my Wendy Peppercorn for those of you that love the Sandlot. Uh, Caroline and I are so very, very proud of my three sons, uh, Luke, Jake, and Cody. Uh, one of the great joys of our lives as parents has been watching our sons play a variety of sports and seeing their love and passion of sports for life. And oh yes, my boys have a passion for rock and roll, so you need to check out their rock band, Wildhood, online. It's W-Y-L-D, Hood. So it was Christmas of 1966 when my older brother Jim bought Forrest and I our first football and we proceeded to spend our childhood and teen years playing catch in the front yard and pick up football with friends in the schoolyard. Think of the movie The Sandlot, but with football. We both dreamed of playing in the CFL with the Calgary Stampeders. Sorry. Forrest pretended he was Stampeder quarterback Peter Lesk and I was receiver Terry Evanshin. Those dreams led to playing Bantam football for the Oil Patch Oilers in 1969 and where we both became hooked on team sports. Heartfelt thanks to our coaches and teammates from that first team as well as to other teams, the Palmer 49ers, the Bonnie Dune Lancers in high school, the Edmonton Huskies in junior, and the University of Alberta Golden Bears. My brother Forrest fulfilled his dream by leading the U of A Golden Bears to the Vanier Cup Championship in 1980 as their quarterback, where he was also named Most Valuable Player. So pulling on a Winnipeg Blue Bombers jersey in 1980 was a dream come true. And how amazing was it to play on three Grey Cup uh, championship teams with the likes of Canadian Football Hall of Famers Bob Cameron, Dieter Brock, James Murphy, John Bonk, John Helton, Tom Clements, Joe Poplowski, Paul Bennett, Chris Walby, Greg Battle, Les Brown, Tyrone Jones, and Dan McManus. And I also want to recognize Rick House. He's the guy that I really wanted to be. Rick House is here. Thanks for coming, Rick. And so, so many other players, all-star players and great teammates and coaches. The Bomber teams of the 80s and the early 90s were loaded with CFL All-Stars and great coaching staffs led by Ray Yock, Cal Murphy, and Mike Riley, 
and GM Zora Lunsford and Paul Robson. Thank you all for being my teammates and my friends. Prairie Canada has the greatest football fans in the world and many, many thanks to Blue Bomber fans for sticking with us no matter what. And they need us now. And as a diehard fan, I look forward to this year's Grey Cup game and Grey Cup festival and also to celebrating the Winnipeg Blue Bombers 11th Grey Cup championship in 2016. Thank you all very, very much.